making your way to the bottom of this tunnel, you found yourself looping back around to the large crevasse where the giant waterfall had fallen in before, where you had met Clarota, which allowed you to retrieve your bear trinket. Yeah! And we, <laughs> we pick up as you guys begin to step down into the lower tunnels, the ones that are partially coated with a series of magma pools and falls that are trickling out of the rock side. As you guys begin to push down into this lower chasm, the, uh, the temperature of the air itself grows steadily warmer and warmer with a drier heat. Um, you find yourself, especially those of you with thick armor, um, oh, you find so the hot. sweat beads begin to trickle down the side of your face and begin to yeah, pool and gather in parts of your, your chest plate. Mike, um, if you'd like me to hold your armor, do you want to take it off for a little while? <laughs> just to sort of no, I'll keep it on just for safety. Let it hang out a little bit now? <laughs> do you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. You might feel more comfortable with a loose-fitting sort of clothes. Scamming stuff being creepy. I'm not creepy, I'm just trying mindful. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, It's fine. Yeah, it's okay, I'll keep it on. Yeah. I'll just have to use my a imagination. Yes. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what we'll call it for now. Yeah. Yeah. You can see now a large portion of the rock has collapsed on the left side, and a gargantuan pool of magma is pulling into the tunnel, essentially covering half of the tunnel you're traversing down. It can be walked on the side of safely at about two or three at shoulder width, but you only have about a 15 foot width period, and the rest of it is just extremely bright, hot, molten rock. Uh, Keyless, Keyless, you don't have any way of, you say it gets hotter than this. You don't have any way of getting some water out here or anything. Ooh, I do, and um, I pull out an empty bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. helpful. Oh. Tiberius, um, I've seen that bottle a lot. What does it do? Oh, it, it will. Uh, I pull out two bottles. But this one, they're both empty of course. Well, this one is an air bottle, and this one is a, a water bottle. Oh. Oh, thank you. That clears that up. <laughs> <laughs> Even I feel dumb around. Your intelligence is now four. Four. <laughs> About an hour and a half of perpetual travel as the tunnel slowly widens further and further with every uh, quarter mile or so. You eventually get to a point where the tunnel shoots open into a gargantuan cavern, a, a, a chamber nearly a mile and a half across from this visual point. The, uh, what you see across the chamber, your eyes focus on a small cluster of buildings, it looks, of a similar construct as the barracks that you saw at the war camp. Um, there's, you can probably surmise somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 to 25 of these structures, all localized in this one area that is punctuated with, you can count about seven of these black obsidian spires that rise out at different points around, like watchtowers. Um, the one that you can see closest to you, which is about a quarter mile off, you can just barely make out what looks like a couple of Duragar walking across one of the upper levels, and what looks like some sort of ballista and or <gasps> anti-personnel weapon that is This is where Kima's being held. How do you know that? I mean... She had a vision! Oh, plus, it's a really big thing. <laughs> That's true. These giant bolt throwers currently reside on each one of these, and then in the center of this cluster of buildings, uh, you see standing a gargantuan ebony fortress. Mm -hmm. Serrated stonework marks the top of each wall, and more of these giant bolt throwers are mounted across the parapets. A massive magma fall descends from the rocky ceiling right above the stronghold onto the roof and is forked onto each side and then continues to flow down, uh, buttressing each side of the stronghold almost as a defense mechanism. Like they built it intentionally underneath this magma fall. And it is a very rocky and uh, difficult terrain should you not be with your ranger. Who is the Underdark is her favorite terrain. Oh, I'll go back then. Should I? Or is it okay? Because we're all together. It's, it's okay because you guys are in theory okay. together. I'm going to say essentially you're just marking places where the terrain would be dangerous to watch your step and to be wary of any locations that might be unsafe for load bearing, uh, anything like that. So. Yeah, I saw that though. <laughs> you calling me load bearing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's um, modest. <laughs> <laughs> Specific. As the rest of you are kind of holding back, the twins 
kind of slink between the various rock formations and strange jagged spires that are currently peppering this entire underground landscape. You get up to a point where you're maybe 10 feet from the road and kind of with your backs against the rock, you can begin to see the roving band slowly move around. Um, band? You, uh, the, the band of dirge. Um, you count at quick glance roughly 12 to 15. You overhear one of them say, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, that thing is still out there. Another one goes, slaps him and says, Horik said to eat a whole scouting party in seconds. Another one goes, uh, listening to Horik was your first mistake. Shut up and keep walking. And they'll keep pushing, at which point the same kind of scared one before him says, uh, oh, I mean, if that one went crazy, I cut the other ones crack too. I don't know if I feel safe running alongside any one of that Kavarin's pets anymore at this rate. And by that point, they begin to slowly move past, and their voices begin to fade as they continue up the path you guys just traversed down, <gasps> up through the lava tunnels. Oh, oh shit. Good thing I was clearing our footprints. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually a very it's a good thing. It's a win for draw. <laughs> Is it? Did I do something good? Good job, Tony. Did I do something good? You guys have like bear tracks and a giant goliath. <laughs> like, <Damn>. what? <laughs> okay. Um, about an hour of travel around the side. I'm so bored. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> that can be fixed, Leo. Wait, wait, wait. Some exposition of all the things. Immediately catching your eye, yes. Vex, uh, one of the nearby uh, kind of obsidian spires is a different color than the rest. The rest are like a deep black, kind of glass shiny color. This one is a dull, kind of crimson. Mm. We should go towards that one. <laughs> because it's a different color. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go check it out. The twins are going to go have a peek. Okay. I'm coming with. Do it. Scanlan comes with. Go ahead and roll stealth check. Oh boy. I'm not, <laughs> not my strong Don't suit. fuck it up. No, Scanlan, what'd you do? You dick. Did you? What did you do? Did you? you can change your mind. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I, I got adva advantage. Don't die. I grab, I grab Scanlan and I and I and I kiss him on the cheek and make him say. <gasps> oh! 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 What? <laughs> when did you take one for this? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh no! I don't know. You just stopped oh, him from no. farting into the wow. persuasion. Uh, pers Ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge moment. That we roll a persuasion wow. against a critical fail? Okay. Can, you, can you persuade a crit fail? Can you persuade okay. the DM? Wait, is it a fail? Okay. He failed. So, it's a one. Was it, a, it was a one. It was a that's one. A one. <laughs> that's a one face. <laughs> I will say, Pike, roll a perception check. Oh, gosh. You're 20. Come on, come on, D20. Perception? Yes, D20. Twenty. Mm. Oh, that's half of the. Fourteen? No. No. Negative. Yes, fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Unfortunately, Backstreet. you're not quite perceptive enough to notice Scanlan's not quite so quiet walking away as you're distracted by the surroundings and the circumstance locally. Um, you continue up with the twins, <laughs> absentmindedly <laughs> humming to yourself. <laughs> the twins being used to your humming. For some reason, it doesn't connect. Um, you make your way up to the spire, and about 15, 20 feet out, you notice the coloration is different because it is completely coated in what looks like dried blood of some kind. Oh, God. And immediately to the right of it, along the ground, currently your, your vision is obscured by another large kind of, kind of twisted stalactite, um, but there appears to be an arm and a whole bunch oh. more dried blood across the ground, stop. just out of you. Can we stop? Can we stop? You can stop. Can stop. You're an arm? Scan it. Shh. What? What? You're singing. I'm I was just, singing? I was singing? <laughs> I didn't even know. It's a force of habit. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look. I'm going to see if I can see anything in the area that has done this recently. I'm picking up one of the arms to bring back okay. the group. So as you walk up towards the arm to grab it, you have more of a view of what's happened. And what you see before you uh, are definitely remnants of some battle long past. Uh, they're against these rocky formations, there's dried, dried blood everywhere. Not this, pretty. this terrible bloodbath, whatever this, this event was, it was probably a horrible thing to, to see. There are pieces of Duragar flung about. And I say pieces, I mean you can't, the only reason you know Duragar there is because occasionally you see part of a head or part of a foot, and you recognize the ashy skin from the areas that aren't currently caked with its own gore. 
the remains are torn apart by no blade. There's no cuts. There's no clean uh, wounds. They're either pulled apart by force, like arms and limbs were wrenched from the body just out of sheer power, or there appears to be some sort of gnawing, some chewing, like toothy fangs, sharp teeth have partially eaten portions of these bodies. This is the work of a beaver. Yes, definitely. A A busy beaver. beaver. I think it's suicide. (laughs) <laughs> Should we? I mean, based on based on <laughs> tracking and everything and insight, can I can we tell if that creature is anywhere nearby? No, I don't right. think we want to tangle with this. I'm, what are we trying to prove? Let's yeah, just. Keep I'm trucking. really bad at stealthing. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> we should leave. Also, put the accordion back in the oh, car. All right. <laughs> Was I doing that? It's force of habit. I don't. <laughs> it's like breathing. Now, when we get back just to the group, I'm gonna toss the arm to Grog. Uh, you instinctively reach up and catch it, and you look down and see what looks like a Durgar arm that has been very heavily mangled. Oh, thanks for the head. That's a back scratch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a back scratch. Uh, well, we that was clever, Durgar. Durgar. No negative anything, it was a good joke. <laughs> 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 I considered it. <laughs> Pike, I, f- I have this weird feeling like you wanted to make out with me. Is that, <laughs> is that something that happened well, in my dream? Well, you just, you know, you weren't paying attention. Really? And that makes I you want to make out with him? No, I think you were you were moving along to try to go stealth, and sometimes you should just stay put and see what happens. Well said, Claire. That was the most adorable <laughs> diss in history. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yet invited. It's all right, Skelly. We'll go pay for it later. <laughs> <laughs> A small hit to Scanlan's morale, but <laughs> the party marches on. You lose an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Friends in front, you guys continue to push forward. Um, for the sake of the length of this journey, I'm going to have the party go ahead and roll a communal stealth check once more. All right. I still have I still have pass without trace. Oh, for the love of God! Which gap does ever want a plus ten? Yep. Oh, eight. really? Yes. Don't bang the guns together. Uh, yeah, that happens too. Twenty-four. Oh. Mm-hmm. 19. We all have plus 10? And this yes. is plus 10. Yes. I rolled a 1. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I quickly see. kiss Percy. Percy. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. I thought it might help. <laughs> oh, you have to use the tongue scan. Uh, 23. Okay. Is that Drug 26. <laughs> Vex, you pick up a strange person standing maybe about. 50, 60 feet ahead of you. You can see that there is a a, a humanoid standing on its own. It doesn't Uh, seem to be moving, though. Maybe Maybe it's it's a a statue. Yeah, that's what I mean. A statue. Want me to go check it out? No, (laughs) I don't. Can you go invisible? Yes, I can go Go invisible and check it out. Uh, I polymorph and and turn into a fly, and I buzz over to him. Nice. Oh, yay. All right, that's fun. (laughs) You approach this individual and notice it is unmoving and is of a singular solid color. Uh, what looks to be uh, what is an illithid or a mind flayer is currently locked in some sort of a reactionary position, but is completely turned to stone. Oh no. Oh, like a Medusa shit. type of a thing? Well, we, we faced like basilisks that. once and they did this we got, we got a lot of things they can do this actually. Yes. Yes. We do yes. have basilisk eggs in the bag of holding. Yeah, we got eight of them. I buzz back to the group. Maybe you should. I kind of fuck with Tiberius's ear a little bit, (laughs) (laughs) and then I turn. I turn back. Turn back. (laughs) What would you see? What was it? Oh, a crazy statue of a crazy elephant. Um, Can we we look at Clarota and say, do you know anything about this? Clarota kind of thinks for a second and goes. As far as I've noticed, occasionally these patrols do walk with a lizard creature that has this ability. It's generally used as a threatening device or a guardian amongst the city. Oh, so the Duraguard have bass have this. It's like they're pets. Uh, a trained beast. Why do you suppose they used to have done one of their own? 
I can only imagine maybe this transpired before the Union. Right. And it's left as a warning. As you guys push forward, uh, look, Clarota lights behind a little bit to inspect the statue and just kind of looks it over for a second. Did you know him? Uh, Dave. <laughs> God damn it. Please, <laughs> 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 Dave. Um, looking at this uh, the side of this fortress, you can see what amounts to a very, very slight raise in the smooth flow of the magma. It seems to pour down most of the stronghold and then just slightly bulge out. And then it pulls, and you can now have you better, better close so you can see where it runs off to. It continues into a stream following the edge of the giant cavern wall. I can handle this, I think. You can? I think I can get us into that trap door. Do you have something I, I that can pull right. it towards you? No, no, no. Can you redirect the magma flow around that bulge with your, uh, can't you move rocks? Or, I can. So you could create a, like, a little Ooh. lip for it to go around? I was thinking I could either do that's some bad idea or I could that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking teamwork. Um, First, we got to take care of the guys on the on the roof. So yeah, are are they back with us? Are they still stealthing in front? Are we? Uh, they're still stealthing in front, and they've. Oh. You guys, you came back to the group. Yeah, I guess yeah. we came back to the group and told them about what's going on. Okay, we can. Me and Pike can take out the guys on the on the roof. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Go? Yes, we're gonna go through a dimension door. I can oh, take yes. one person of my height or smaller. All right. So I will take so, Pike. So you reach over, <laughs> hold on to Pike gently, give her a little wink. Oh my gosh. And suddenly? We're going to try to appear between the two of them. Exactly between the two of them. Okay, <laughs> so you feel the sudden rush of air and the there. surrounding atmosphere of you goes from that uncomfortable warmth to a sudden freezing cold as your vision goes black and all you can see is Scanlan looking at you with this heightened grin as he's muttering these arcane incantations under his breath. An instant later, you guys are both standing at the top of the wall with both of the Duragar, one kind of facing away, one looking really surprised at the fact that you guys both appeared there. You have a surprise round. What are you doing? I cast Thunder Wave and blast out from, from where I'm standing between them, 15 feet in either direction. Okay. So they're so. both 10 feet and 10 feet away from me. Okay, what's your what's your save? Uh, uh, but, but, a, 19. but a quiet Thunder 19. Wave, right? Really All right. Thunder, thunder clap is loud. Thunder All right. Is different. Oh, okay. So, as you guys appear, you release Pike, you bring your arms up and slam your arms kind of in a downward motion as you do there is a dull flash of light and a boom, a burst sound that emanates from you. I'm saying, oh, ooh, light. Both of the Duragar, <laughs> the one who sees you, who's bringing up his crossbow to fire, gets impacted and blown off the side of the wall. The one facing away gets blown up towards, slams into the side of the wall right at the edge, and then topples over at the side. Will both screen. plummeting over. Oh! The brief Wilhelm scream. You're standing there, you watch oh. this happen. That was I didn't have to do anything, Scanlan! Make out with me. <laughs> <laughs> we're alone. It's super romantic. I just killed two fuck of it. We're alone. Oh, no. It's now or never, baby. Well, let's just yeah, wait till we're out of danger. It's real romantic. But that was really <laughs> hot. It was really hot, right? It Come was. On, just a little something, but something. Let's just. So sexy. Let's As this just... is happening. <laughs> oh, shit. If both of them, Durgar, come plumbing off the side of the wall. One uh, managed to kind of loosely break his fall, but the full oh, uh, 25 foot fall he takes. I rage! <laughs> <laughs> so as he gets up, he goes back for his warhammer. Before he has a chance to, you cleave off one arm <gasps> and send the axe right into the center of his torso, Holy. silencing him in an instant. He slightly spreads the wound with this gurgling sound. And you just have to kind of like kick him off the edge of your. Yeah, I tilt him towards the pillar to spray the pillar with his gore. I'm like, Look, I can make one too. <laughs> I run across to the other one, thorn whip him from across the lava pool. Okay, you have to jump over the lava to do that because he's on the side you guys are on. Oh. Uh, well then, is there anyone on that, the other side? Is he already dying or no? Oh, wait, he's, he's on the, the same lava? side as He's on the same side as you. He's hurt. We run up he's and kick him in the lava. Yeah, he's in the process of standing up. We yeah. just run and kick him in the lava. Yeah, I just run and push. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So I use pushing Ooh. attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you go, go, go ahead and roll this athletics. This is the meanest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, remember you killed that kid one time. Oh, thanks for bringing that up. Oh. <laughs> That's some dark shit. That's some dark shit. 
It's a long no. story. Oh. oh my god. Remember to kill that kid one time? Two and a half years in, and Keyleth has just learned our names. Uh, <laughs> okay, I gotta come back. I do too. I do too. All the time. All the time. No one all the time. So, as, I have your name book, written down. I'm Vex, okay? <laughs> what? No, 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 that is not true. No. Uh, 14. Uh, that's okay, you rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> yes! So, as the Duragar is getting up, he goes, Ugh! you just run up and poof, and he falls back. Into the, I mean, goes, ah! and starts giving a horrible, painful scream oh, no, as he's essentially awesome. like flailing in the magma, melting. Someone shoot him in the mouth. I say, shh, 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 and I, I do the um, I, I wind down to like push him under the lava. Okay, so, so as oh, he's screaming, your your wind wall shoves him further into the magma. As he's screaming, cooling the magma around him as the rock cracks around him into black rock. His face still visible over the surface, going, ah, and this like horrible, almost Han and Carbonite type look Keely. at the top of the magma pool. You can just one up to Grog. Man. Magma's awesome. <laughs> as, fresh, as fresh magma now begins to pool over the cool, covering his face, you step away. Um, Piss on the body. I never knew. I never knew you were an artist. <laughs> However, the, the subtle sound of the thunder wave oh, no. and then the horrible screams of pain. You can hear footsteps coming towards the wall edge where both you and Pike are currently on. We're gonna dimension door out. Okay, so you grab her, back down to the bottom. That's All right, cast that shit. They reappear in the bottom. Um, um. Are you done? Okay, okay, okay. I I cast uh um uh, uh wall stone, but like right over top of where I see that lip. But I don't I don't want to bring it out far. Just like half seas. Okay. <laughs> Just the, tip. The magma? Just, Just the tip. Just the tip. A giant stone wall juts out the side of the fortress, right where the uh, lava pool was pouring over the side. As it does, the lava bin pool, pulls on top of the wall and is kind of offset, leaving a small gap where you guys can try and squeeze through. You can see right underneath where it was, there is a stone doorway. It does, oh, does not appear to have a handle or anything. It's just a stone door. Go ahead and uh, make a check with your uh, piece tools. Okay. 29. 29. So you take a second, you but can find I that the uh, the contraption that holds the store in place definitely is on the other side. It's a series of winches <laughs> and the chain pull. Uh, you find that there's one slight gap where you manage to hook one of the chains, pull out ever so slightly, and you know with a strong yank from a strong person, you could probably pull it out from the outside. So oh, there's a part that if I ask Grog over to pull. <laughs> Oh, girl, grab this, uh... I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, me and Pike are on this. Okay, so Grog, you reach over, you grab the chain, and Pike grabs onto the back of you, and both of you pull. Uh, <laughs> Give it a good heap ho! Go ahead, make a strength check with advantage. Oh, yeah. Uh, 23? 23. As you pull, you hear the grinding of this chain against the stone. And you can see the actual door begin to rise upward this way. Yes. You can see now what this door It's a DeLorean! Is. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> when it opens up, it what moves the magma out of the way. That's how this construct is used as an exit. And as I mentioned before, it's, it's supposed to be an exit uh, for the royal individuals of the stronghold. It only opens up partway, however, because the stone wall currently blocks the rest of its movement. However, you can still move through it. Um, we can't leave this door guard behind, though. We gotta take mm -hmm. him out. Yes, there's one door guard still there. The door. Oh, right. Where's he at? Uh, he's up on the top of the wall, about 25 feet from here. Could I you. create a, a, uh, I want a spiritual weapon, like a poisonous lasso, <laughs> and like, and then like put him down into the lava? Oh. Huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so. A lariat of truth? <laughs> so. <Yes. laughs> well, all right then. So, using your spiritual weapon, you, you take a moment, you grasp your, uh, your, your Saren Ray uh, holy symbol around your neck, and as you pull your hand away from the symbol, you see this, this kind of glowing uh, celestial rope extends out of nowhere. Yeah. You begin to spin your fingers, and it, on its own, it begins to swirl and swirl. You then throw your hand forward, and on its own, cascades upward towards the edge of the wall. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. An attack roll? Okay. Yeah. Ten. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that ain't no game. Total of ten? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so, what yeah. <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled uh, uh, a two and then I had a uh, plus eight. Okay. So, uh, the, uh, <laughs> that ain't no the, the Celestial Lasso. Um, it's a good idea, though. Which, 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 which is, 
you don't get the feeling poison was something you could really muster based on your your deity's central good. I was just kidding. Talent. I was just getting a little crazy with ideas. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, however, as as it heads over the wall, you see it does not find purchase on the Duragar. Instead, it finds purchase on part of the wall. Yeah, fuck. Um, poisoning the wall, effectively. <laughs> yes, it's that not wall poison property. Effectively, uh, that so. would have been cool. That would have been cool. Unfortunate bad roll. Can I can I can I summon an unseen servant to push him? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Come that's on. a good idea. Yeah. Okay, we can yeah. give it a shot. <laughs> roll high. Oh, roll, I got roll high. Roll so, I, I don't so, have any ranged 20. weapons. Natural twenty. So you you, you you conjure an unseen servant. Mark, mark off your spell use. I look at it. Oh, Monty's cousin. Uh, you see a, a slight shimmer of of ethereal energy behind the Duragar. It's going to attempt to shove him. It isn't, unfortunately, on its own extremely strong. It's mainly meant as an aid. However, oh. it is possible. Go ahead and make an athletics oh. check. Athletic. Not your not your athletics. Just make a d20 oh, roll. just a normal athletics. Twenty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a five. So. <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your athletics? We're really rolling well tonight. You hear a ting <laughs> sound as the um, the Durgar's armor is given a hefty slap. But <laughs> Force is placed upon its I body. Have to slap. <laughs> Thank you, Jarvis. <laughs> uh, that brings us to let's see, let's go to Percy. Take one more shot at him. Redemption, Percy. Come on, buddy. Kill this guy. Get it. Uh, we're we're gonna gonna have to catch you for the team if you roll one fight. <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> Twenty-five points of damage. Thank Yay. you. Okay, so with the Bye second, bye-bye. you you pull out one of your your custom-made uh, nasty-looking bullets, load it back into the bad news. You pull it back aim up and fire, and once again, you guys are seeing this weapon up close again. With each fire, it takes all of his physical body to not be blown off his feet with each time it fires. A plume of white and kind of uh, ash-like smoke comes shooting out the side of the weapon. Uh, The nearby, you almost have to close your ears instinctually from the loudness of the shot. However, the Duragar at the top of the wall, you see what where his head once was, just (laughs) across the wall behind it. (laughs) The pink fist. Love bad news. Let's move quickly. Let's get in the door. I think they heard us. I go in the door. What kind of a bullet okay. Going into the door. Yeah, we all go in the door. You guys all slowly push into this uh, the storage room. It's very musty. It hasn't been seen in use in quite a while. Um, in fact, you can see a little bit of mold is growing on the side of one of the barrels Ooh, in the corner. Dank. There is a doorway <laughs> that is closed on the opposite side of this wall. And from what you can see, there is a stairway that curves upward to the second floor. Uh, guys, I'm sensing a lot of purple and brown construction paper here. <laughs> <laughs> I am as well, Scanlon. That's your favorite terrain, right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're all trapped in that room together. Yeah. Right? You are I fart. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Press the hesitation, and I. <laughs> made quick wind gust and okay. just okay. circulated around the room. Oh, yeah, I blew it away! Do you know what? I can blow it right up your nose, Max. <laughs> I'll blow it to you that I'm moving. I throw up in my mouth just a little bit. Just a little like, bit. As you move and, and kind of glance over, you can see there are two Duragar stations on each side of the split hallways. Yes. One is a, is a closed doorway to your right. Yes. And to the left, there's an open doorway that leads into a room. And, that, and that's when I went to the right? Uh, well, as soon as you went into the, where the division was, you turned to look to the right, and there's a the right. Duragar there and a Duragar on the left. Okay, well. I'm going to turn my chin over to the left and see what I see down there. There's a second Duragar that is currently sitting uh, in armor, weapon to its side, just kind of occasionally glancing, and you can hear every now and then, it sounds like a, a, a moan or like a, a slight whispering gurgle, and the Duragar will lean in. I should open there! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go kill this guy. Um, you don't want to tell us as I notice him going up, I'm gonna... Hey, Vax, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm killing someone. Hold, please. <laughs> uh, guys, Vax is going to go kill something. So Vex and Vax both disappear off to the side, down a, down a hallway. I, uh, before they leave, I just kind of like tap their shoulders and meditate and, and grant them guidance. Okay, give one of them guidance, because it's a concentration. Uh, Vex. Okay. That's me. Yes. <laughs> Did you mean to give it to him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bravo. So who gets who gets guidance? The man one. <laughs> Vex. 
<laughs> so I pull uh, my poison blade out and I pull uh, the keen dagger out. All right. Okay. And I take the keen dagger. So the one on the left is by the door, the one that muttered through the doorway, right? The one right here. Yes. All right. So I get a little whoop, toss in my hand and throw it right at his neck. Oh, you need to know. At the same time, I reach out and go. Whoop. Well, and then the other one, the poison one, is towards the other. <laughs> okay. And you are. And I was going to shoot at the other one. Back okay. Seated. So go ahead and roll four. This guy here. Guy. So uh, forty-six with the uh, keen dagger on the guard at the door. Okay. So, uh, so I was really useful. So the guy on, on the left, as he's leaning back, he's getting angry with whoever's in that room. As he turns back to take his post again, and just gurgles, slumps to the ground. As he's slumping, an arrow goes It's like a punctuation. Yeah. yeah. I say on my earring, I think we found the prison cells. Get down here. We're coming. I'm assuming they're, Both they're dead. Both are. I start okay. looting the bodies. All right, so self checks. I think we're still 16. 17. 12. 12. 12. 20. 19. All right, <laughs> go team. Woo! <laughs> we're stealthy bastards. Yes. <laughs> now, that was with disadvantage. Oh my god. Yes. I have to roll again. Yes, because Why? you're in heavy plate armor. Yeah. <gasps> no! You got this, you got Do it! It's okay, it's okay. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Sweet no whammies. Ash. Mm. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. 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 Come on, <laughs> you guys all <laughs> rush down the stairs, <laughs> the clanking of the plate armor as you're going down. The rest of you like kind of wince as you notice it, but you make down anyway. Uh, oh my God. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw guidance on Pike now. <laughs> what is okay. Literally. Literally. You guys hear heavy footsteps coming from the stairway. You guys just descended from. I go uh, stand right next oh, to the stairway. In the, in the cells. In the, in the cells. cells. Um, I jump in the cells and I pull a dead, decomposing corpse over top of me. Wow. Ew. All right. Heal it. Wow. All kinds of nasty. This. I find a corner of a cell and slow down a lot of guys. <laughs> <in there>. Okay. <laughs> What's in the other door? Uh. God damn it. All right. The other door is currently locked. From what you can tell. One moment. Uh, it is now not locked, I think. <laughs> 25. Okay. Um, you push the door open and you see um, immediately the fast moving heft of some large blade towards your head. Ooh, yeah. Ooh snap! Mm. The axe <laughs> hits, hits you and embeds itself in the wooden door, pulls back. Now what you see is a Duragar. Wearing like this nasty-looking black leather tunic, with a hood pulled back, with a giant uh, gnarled, uh, like hefted uh, great axe. The word escaped me on that one. Um, has a bunch of scars in its face. Yeah. It's kind of grinning as it pulls the axe out of the doorway. The dwarf backs up over what you can see now. And this room is completely covered in a series of really nasty hooked instruments. As uh, I said. Hot irons, you can see large <laughs> pincers, you can see various <laughs> blades. Oh, it's like a torture chamber? It's a torture oh chamber. It's oh, no, torture. Um, Grog is running into Toys R Us. This uh, is great. So you, you, you see gently as he backs away, there is uh, someone on this kind of rack-like table and uh, the the dwarf backs up with his axe, kind of getting ready. I use my bonus action to say, you are so fucked, dwarf. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, that brings us to Tiberius. Oh. Ooh, I like where this is going, Vax. Wait, I go over there first, okay. and then I say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, check. <laughs> Vax is doing. I'm going to cast whole person on the dwarf. You don't have visual on the dwarf currently. The what? Dwarf is That's back, is back As you run through the hallway, <laughs> which you don't even know there's a dwarf there, you rush out of the hallway after hearing all this commotion, you look in and there's an open door into a room that's currently vacant. You don't have enough movement to get close enough, unfortunately. Uh, poop. I, I, encourage, I encourage violence. <laughs> <laughs> a wondrous use of an action. Dude, I've got a Destroy them. 
kill it. God to end his existence. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I've got to kind of do That's the get, best line of the night. Do we get it? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, are currently in a cell with the dead body draped over you. Oh. <laughs> It's <laughs> cozy down here. Okay. So with the dead body, I hear what's going on. I we're role playing it out. Yeah. I the body off of I morph into Minxie form. And as I morph into Minxie form, I take the dead body that's on top of me and just pick it up with my mouth. Okay. Uh in your mouth, the body stirs. It wasn't quite there. Oh, what? Oh, it was he lived. I wanted a dead one. It makes sense. <laughs> I dropped that summer. one and like a dead well, one. Well, you wanted a dead one, it is now. Uh, oh! <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. He's dead. Children, the entire game being the worst person. In the world. <laughs> I know. I tried so hard, was it you guys. A child I tried so on? hard, but it's still the fucking worst. <laughs> so, you now have, you have a, a, a dead. Gaunt dwarf hanging from Macy's mouth. So what do you want to do? Um, Keep chewing. It was. It was. <laughs> no, go ahead, do something else. He's At least it's not gamey. Go ahead, go ahead. Size your bonus action. He tries. He tries so hard. You're not trying hard enough, damn it. Fuck you, man. I'm going to have a tough day. Your little dwarf. Bex brought up the fact that I killed a kid. <laughs> Having all these memories come back, and just I'm, I'm on the brink. Yeah, there's some PTSD. I'm, I'm on sorry. the brink. I'm sorry, you're right. So I've got this now dead corpse wow. in my mouth, and I come out around the corner. <laughs> as a <laughs> you smell less good as a trinket does. It's not me. It's the dead body. Uh, I um, <laughs> and I, I look at the dwarf. You can't see him from your vantage point. He's actually back I can't out see him, of can't the see him. sight. No. We can't see him. Can can you don't even know there's a dwarf there. You just know there's some sort of commotion going on. You move around the corner Everybody and you see just an empty room. I know. Let just, him go in the like, room. Let's go do with this butthole. I look at Grog and I foam at the mouth a little bit with the corpse and I encourage violence. I encourage violence. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Next. Just gnawing on oh, the dead well, dwarf. Well, let's make this nice and easy. I smack Grog on the ass and say, "Go get him." <laughs> All right. Grog, it's your turn. <laughs> 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 yeah. Does he get advantage yeah. because we're only like purging? Oh, yeah. oh no, no, you do get inspiration dice for this whole setup. <laughs> one day, if you don't kill dice. him in one shot... Okay, so, <laughs> so you run in... You said the room's full of shiny pointy things on the wall, right? Yes. I would like to bull rush the dwarf up and against the wall and try and spear him with all the sharp shit on the wall. Okay! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> You rush in, and with your attack, your first attack, you grab him, lift him, and you can see there's a series of giant meat hooks hanging from the back of the wall, and you just lift them up and shoot, shove him down onto the hook, which protrudes from the front of his oh chest. Going, God, oh! Oh! No, perfect. Take yes! It. Tell me I get another attack. Uh, you do. You do Excellent. So that I is uh, 12 points of damage, and he is off. currently... He's currently Impaled? restrained by the hook through his chest. Oh, Perfect. Wow. With my second attack, as he's screaming out, I reach inside, grab his lower jaw, and pull him straight down. Okay, make an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, I love this. Max is using his free hand to cover his eyes. <laughs> Ke Keyleth starts 24. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage on this. Oh, six. For the 12? Uh, n n for flavor, you're attacking, yes, for flavor, roll 12. Why not? You're pulling his jaw. Excellent. He's really high. 15. Okay. Um, so, after you throw him onto the hook, his axe clatters to the ground and he reaches up with his hands to grab you and it looks like he's pulling back to try and bring you in for a headbutt. This kind of angry look of, of burning rage in his white eyes. This, this, this fucked up Duragar with all these scars in his face. As he reaches up towards you, you take your giant hand and jam it into his maw with this horrible <laughs> sound as you put all of your muscle into it, glaring him in the face with a terrible grin. You <laughs> and yank the jaw from the bottom of its head. Uh, a spatter of blood across the front of his mouth and this tongue dangling. He goes, it gives it this horrible, oh, this, this gurgling oh. scream as all the blood begins to pour up into his throat. Uh, with that, you just, you, you, clutching the jaw with one hand, you begin to pummel him in the face. Oh. With his jaw, as he's watching, his head slowly cave in. Yes. 
um, until he's eventually make... he's no longer moving and you kind of throw the jar to the ground. <laughs> gonna it's coated in blood. Hey, I think Grog, um, I think he did a struggle. I screamed like, good job, Grog, that's your best one yet! <laughs> <laughs> and they say video games are violent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh As you've entered the room now and you've yeah, got. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he is. <laughs> he's very dead. We made cheese of him. <laughs> Uh, lies there limply on the wall, kind of twitching every few seconds. Uh, Grog still in a rage. You look over at the other individual. You can see now, strapped to this uh, this wooden frame, is a smallish humanoid uh, female, currently chained and being pulled on a rack. You can see a bunch of scars and wounds, blood is that pouring her girl? from each one of them. Yeah, man. I'm running into. I know how to disable the rack. You take a moment and you manage to find where the wench of this machine is, where you can go ahead and release the tension, and eventually the chains go a little more slack and. <sighs> The halfling woman takes a deep breath and just kind of looks about the room a second. It looks like there's a bit of haze, but in through the haze, there is just this this constant, this constant anger. Oh. And you, she looks like this. So, are you gonna let me go? Come on, release these chains! And she's been tortured to an extent you hadn't seen a person, and to have to still be like like tensing her muscles against the chains and looking at you with this this tensity. If this is indeed Lady Kima, you now see why she's made the reputation she has. Okay. Grog, the, uh, the so I, I step forward and, I, and, I, and I, I, I pull out my flute and I, I sing, uh, As long as I got my song and flute, I'm gonna <laughs> give some healing to you. Love and magic in the air tonight. Gonna give you some hit points. <laughs> gonna give you some hit points. Yeah. Gonna give you some hit points. Of <laughs> 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 okay, so I, I roll uh, so nine, nine. Okay, okay. Can I, can I, she sees your mace and so goes, Can I borrow that for a second? Uh, please? Ooh. My mace? Your mace, please. What do you need it for? <laughs> <laughs> you can have mine. Do you trust me? I don't know. <laughs> this is all I have to protect myself. You've come this far. Grog has something for you. Say yes to life, bye. All right, well, I also have a morning star, but this is... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, could you give it back? <laughs> she, as you hand it out, she grabs it from your hand. That was rude. Walks to the edge of the table. I don't like her. Stares at the dwarf that is currently hooked onto the wall. And with an RGL, just slams it right into his face, causing his head to explode against the back of the wall. Slams it again. And again, and again, oh. and it's just making like hamburger of his entire body. Oh, the arm slaws off, and she's just going nuts. She you mad. can see her just bludgeoning over and over again with like just spray of gore on her, and there's this look of, of anger, frustration, and 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 a sick sense of joy a little bit in her eyes, and how she's just tearing this dwarf apart. Eventually, after this 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 frenzy, you're all taken aback, and she takes a moment. There is very little left recognizable of once was was I, a Duragar. I notice a uh, bulge in Grog's pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I use my I use my maid hand to slowly pick up my bottle of water. <laughs> okay. Uh. She takes the the uh, mm. the may she borrowed from you. I'm sorry, I questioned. As she be begins to hand it back to you, there's a slight flash of radiant energy that emanates from her hand, <gasps> and it burns all of the blood that currently encapsulates the mace off. And hands it back to you. Thank you. I needed that. Very welcome. Uh, give Sorry. her something, Ron. Let her use yeah. one of your things. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, give her one of your things, Grog. Could I, um, <laughs> would you like to touch my axe? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to part with it, certainly. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe we should get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we collect your things? I yeah, where are they? The you know? I have no idea. <laughs> they're either in the vault or they're in the armory. As far as I can tell, my Lady Kima, are these things absolutely necessary? We have a secret entrance to this place. We could leave now. Are they of vital importance, the things you've lost? She kind of thinks for a second and, for a second and goes, They are divine implements gifted to me from an avatar of Bahamut. Directly, I feel to leave them behind would be a partial failure to my quest. Not to mention that what we may face beyond this, we'll need every bit of help we can get. Oh shit! Well, that's that then. Let's us. find the friggin' vault. While she was talking, I mm. took the body and I kind of drug it back and I buried my shame. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so okay. first, I bury my shame. Okay, your shame has been <laughs> sufficiently buried. Bury the shame. So good. And then I go. As you move up to her, you notice she's standing at the top of the, at the bottom of the stairs mm. with attention, staring up at the top of the stairway where Clarota is looking down at her oh. and backing away. And she oh, goes, yes. wait, oh, wait, 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 He's his name is Clarota. Clarota. Without taking her eyes off of Clarota. This is Kiva. She's, Kiva. She looks Kiva. back Kiva. over. <laughs> uh, we are allies, oh, yes? Uh, are you to tell me that you've come down here and allied yourself with an entity that is the anathema of the mountain? Understand, whether or not Kavarn controls them to give them direction, they are of that type of mindset at all points. They do not hope society will thrive. They do not want us free peoples to walk the surface. They want us for food. Lady Kima, if I may, if you are intending us to choose between you and our ally, Clarota, and we can't get you to see eye to eye with us, then I'm afraid you leave us no choice but to choose our own friend, Clarota, over you. What? We're giving you one last chance. Either you are with us, or you are against us. This is a threat. So you walk in here, save me from my binds, under the words of my dear lifelong friend, Arcanist Alora. We mean you no ill will. It is you who are aggravating the situation. You could be sitting in a cell by yourself doing fuck all, or ending this problem now. Make a persuasion check. Just everyone taking I'm so nervous. Oh, Scanlan, come on. <laughs> well, I rolled a three. I rolled a 13. But I have a plus 13. Okay. Uh, so that's a 16. A 16? Oh. Plus 13? Three plus 13? Okay. Um, plus, plus, uh, hold on. <laughs> because you didn't, where the fuck? <laughs> war, war God's blessing! Cleric flail. No, I can't do that, because that's what a person who makes an attack roll. <laughs> Get him, Scanlan! <laughs> she takes a moment and steps forward. She's, uh, she's a few inches taller than you. Of course she is. Um, <laughs> she kind of looks at you and says, he of the pretty voice. I'm grateful that all of you have come and traversed all this danger in my name to free me from the binds that have held me. And I do wish very much to walk alongside you to this end. And I understand it may be very well possible that this thing has taken your minds without your knowledge. However, and her eyes close for a second, and she opens them again, and that kind of radiant spark of silver fades. Her normal eye color returns. We see ourselves of little choices. And I have very little allies at this point to achieve my goal. If we are to travel together, this one must walk in step the entire time. One single misstep. And I will not hesitate to carve that head from your body in the name of Bahamut. Clarota puts the hands folded back together. <laughs> Shall we? Oh and walks up the stairs after her. And you all begin to ascend back with them to the first floor, and that's where we'll end the oh game. Oh my gosh! Oh, God. No. What the fuck?
thought we were going to have to pick. Oh, we, we got like 10 more minutes. Yeah, we have 10 more minutes. No, no, no. That's, no. that's, that's a good place. Yeah, that's a good place. Depending on where you guys are going next, it could be a bit of a lengthy encounter. Wait, dang Muscular it. Halfling. I wanted to take some, some torture that? weapons. You can go back if you want. Yeah, can I go back since we have 10 minutes and go get some torture weapons? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this this is pretty quick. You're going to have to grab a couple things because everyone's Where's heading up the stairs. your deity, Harvey Tytel? <laughs> no! So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like the the war priest, however, who her the, the light of Saren Ray has guided her through her life. Once a, a gifted being of of light and joy, upon coming to the edge of death, her soul taken from her form and returned, going at sea and traveling with some of the more uh, rough and tumble folks of the landscape, has returned now with her mind bent on war, vengeance, and what it means to to win a battle through force if necessary.